Well, hello my friends. I am popping in. It's Sean Petit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm popping in to share some new things that I am super excited about. Oh my goodness. So um, Arteza sent me their craft paint and this is, this is the craft paint. Um, but this is called the classic colors. I'm not sure why it's the classic or what, but they're my favorite. Oh my goodness. These colors are all in my wheelhouse. Oh my gosh. The green, look at this green. Look at the, this is like emerald, teal, dark teal, the plum, the wine, the raspberry red. Um, I don't even remember what this one was. Crimson red. Oh, all my favorite colors. Look at these. Look at these neutrals up here. This is bronze. This comes in the kit in the classic. Um, this. Look at these yellows. Just all my favorite colors in one spot. They're matte, super matte, with the exception, of course, with the bronze. Super matte. I've kind of watered them out a little bit so you can kind of see how they, oh yes, these aren't even going back in the box. Everything is out because I, I when as soon as I saw the colors, I was like, these are going on my desk right now. So these are Oh, I guess it's not classic. It's called vintage tones. I'm like, vintage, hmm? I don't know if that means they're vintage colors or vintage as in they're older colors in there. I have no idea. Anyway, I don't care. I love them all. So 20 colors. Uh, what a deal. What a deal on these. Super excited. They're just going to go on my table and I will be using them, I think, all the time. I love it because they're super matte as well. Then they sent me their canvas pad, and I don't typically create on canvas, but then I got this really great idea um, of jelly printing on canvas, trying it out anyway. And this is my, this was actually my very first attempt at jelly printing on canvas. And there's a couple things that I will tweak next time, but I, I'm pretty pleased with how grungy good it is. I also did the same kind of exact technique on regular paper. And of course, regular paper is a little bit better. Obviously the colors show up. Um, but I still love this and I show you how, and now, and now I'm kind of excited because I was like, okay, now what do I do with this canvas? So I'm like, I'm going to put it down on, this is one of Arteza's wood panels. I'm going to put it down on a wood panel and see how it looks. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So part of the reason I don't create on canvas very often is because I need, I need a solid surface when I'm doing mixed media because I'm doing all the layers and papers and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I'm super excited to be able to take the canvas and put it on a wood panel and it looks like, it looks like a regular canvas. And so the nice thing about creating on a, um, canvas sheet is they're super reasonable. And then if it's something that you don't like, you haven't spent the money on a full canvas. Plus you can work saw on your tabletop and have a solid surface, or you can go ahead and adhere it to your wood before you even create. But I, I probably wouldn't do that because I would create, and then if I love it, I would mount it on um, my wood panel. Um, so I have a lot of fun, and oh, and I was also thinking like, look at the back side. So this is the gessoed side. The back side, I was thinking, hmm. What could I do with that? So anyway, um, three things that I used from Arteza today. I used their wood panel. I used their canvas pad and their gorgeous, gorgeous, this vintage, it's called Vintage Tones Colors. I'm in love. Just as happy as I could be with these colors and I will be using them all the time. So these are the two projects that we're going to be creating today. Um, I do this one first because I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, but I do this all on the jelly print, basically jelly plate, gel plate. Um, and I used a, I used a 12 by 12 gel press gel plate 
and everything else I have you know my brayer I use my brayer everything else with the exception of my medium that I put down and my words were all Arteza I believe so um, these are the two projects that we're going to create today with these fun new um, or new to me Arteza things so uh, I do want to let you know too that um, Arteza is having you'll see this <clears throat> on Friday after Thanksgiving, which is perfect because Arteza is having a after Thanksgiving day sale. And so some things are up to 60% off. That's a huge sale. So I'll have a link below to Arteza and to these products that I'm using in case, hello, you want to get your hands on these. I'm so excited. Um, and then and and I think I'm pretty sure they have them available in single colors and like if you don't want the whole pack you can get just a couple of the single colors but I, there isn't a color in this pack that doesn't just make me happy so that's amazing because usually in a pack there's usually one or two colors that eh, you're like I don't know but not this one so that's why I'm so excited about this one okay um, that is it, my friends, and um, let's get creating. Mm -hmm. 